I welcome you to 2022 16 Days Activism on Ending GBV on Women and Ministries. Uh, it's good we're talking about that now. Up until late last year, it was an area, no, no go area. Not much was known about it. It was a place where we thought oh, everything was okay until a lady, a gospel music minister, uh, was beaten and eventually died. And I just, the eyes of the world open to the fact that there's a lot going on behind the scene. Unfortunately, we don't have data on this because this is where this kind of violence is hidden. Nobody is encouraged to speak about it. It's covered. It is denied. The women deny it. The, the people who know about it cover it. And so nobody knows. There are no statistics on this. And we may not be able to say so much. But the Bible generally condemns violence. And I know quite a lot of the speakers, people who made presentations before me, have done a lot on violence. And so in trying to keep to time, I will go straight to uh, what I need to say. Now you're saying, uh, what form does this violence take amongst women in ministry? Let me go straight to that. Uh, it's not beating. So most times, very few, you know, few occasions, the women are beaten. I've lost two friends, uh, two friends to violence. And both of them were ministers very close to me. And uh, one of them, she was not beaten, but she was emotionally a wreck. The other one was beaten and was, you know, words, harsh words were used on her. And she eventually died. What form does this violence take? Uh, you know, we don't have statistics. Um, and so on and so forth. How is it done? Words are used to control and maintain power. Use words. They use words to manipulate the person into submission. They use words to assault, to dominate, to ridicule, to manipulate or degrade that person. Sometimes it's not words, but prolonged silent treatment. They can tell you here a woman called big, fat and ugly. You are smelly. Nobody will look at you twice. Things like that. I will discover, disfigure your face till you look like a monster. I will kill you and marry someone more beautiful and young. For two hours, I spoke to a lady who is a Kenyan and married to a Tanzanian. Two hours we were talking. When the husband disfigured her face, she lost. Her eyes were broken. 